Peter, the to, day the day to after get Trump. the day after the election. Okay, so here here they get their worst nightmare has come true, right? The president is elected. That's something they did not expect. Remember, this is something we even saw in the text messages. FBI sources said from the very beginning that they didn't want President Trump mm -hmm. to make it to office. Mm -hmm. This is why I'm concerned that they're still working at the FBI. The same thing you brought up earlier, Ainsley, I'm hearing from my sources too. FBI agents are saying, why are they still there? I mean, not only the, were the lovebirds. The lovebirds. Well, you know, look, they were having an affair. They were both married. They're working counterintelligence. That's enough for blackmail. Now they're sending text messages on an unsecure phone. Believe me, the Germans, the Russians, the Israelis, everybody is going into those phones and trying to suck right. out all the information they have. I remember when Louis Free was in charge and 9-11 happens. They look back and they go, you know, the FBI was was on third-rate computers. The communication was terrible. We heard it got upgraded and cybersecurity was at its greatest. And I'm now I'm extremely worried about everybody, but their explanation is centered around Johnson's ridiculous. Many FBI, uh, the FBI was provided Samsung 5 mobile phones. They did not capture or store text messages due to misconfiguration issues related to rollouts, provisioning, and software upgrades and conflicted with the FBI's collective capabilities. Does that accept? Who rolled out Samsungs that were not capable or compatible? Who even understands that jumbled up mess well, of that's technical, the idea. right? That's what that's the idea. I can tell you this, that a lot of people within the DOJ, possibly even the inspector general himself, a lot of people within those committees do not buy this and they are going to investigate this. It might be difficult right. to prove, but they are definitely investigating. Why is Christopher Ray holding on to Andy McCabe? Why is he threatening to quit if he's fired? So you've heard the same things I've been hearing. I haven't been able to verify that yet, but I have heard the same, that Christopher Ray is threatened to quit if Andy McCabe is fired, and I don't know that, and I haven't had